Hi everybody, welcome back to Aliens, Colonial Marines. I've been editing out the, uh, the upgrade screens because really it hasn't been all that interesting. Like, most of the upgrades you already know, and the weapons are just like, kind of like you get barrel extensions and scopes and this is, I want the high velocity rounds for the battle rifle and that's pretty much it. It just takes a while to get it and like every time we go into here we spend like 10 minutes dicking around with this stuff so I started cutting it out, I just want to explain that to you guys. So yeah. Well, you guys spend 10 minutes. Oh. Yes, we did. Right. Did you hit go? Yes. <laughs> Fuck! I'm changing my grenade attachment. The realities are also on fire. Marco Axel, this is winning en route to the hostage extraction. What the hell are we looking for, sir? Roger that. The manifest describes a security module where he's being held by Wei Yu on the other side of the structure. Go get him back. Hot. Don't move it! You know, I, I noticed that the anti-aliasing is garbage in this, actually. What the hell happened in here? What does he mean, what the hell happened in here? Didn't we unleash the aliens? What's that happened in here? Yeah, pretty much. Guys, what the hell happened in here? Alright. Okay, that was a nice line of dialogue. I'll give it credit. Well, what the hell happened in here? Oh, that's what happened in here. Yeah, I have. Ten out of ten writing. What's I there? I have anti-aliasing on, and it's like nothing right now. Like I, fucking hell. Sorry, I'm I'm, I'm pissing off about that right now. I just noticed it. Why is it all concentrated in this module? Nice try, Ken. all new to come here. <laughs> I don't know. That's why I was playing with the film grain. Is it's, but its only benefit is it helps hide that. I shouldn't need it. Oh my god. Actual, you seeing this? Affirmative winner, the image is shaky. What the hell is that? It's the queen. Say again, O'Neill. Did you just say a queen? What the hell else would you call it? Lay an eggs. Hey look, it got out at the con most convenient time. O'Neill? Let's move, man. You know what that queen needs? What? Fire! <laughs> oh god, she hit me. It kinda hurt my feelings. Rip. I guess this is a boss fight coming up. No. No. Just cross the walls for a bit. Oh wait, she Spooky. came through, I didn't even notice. <laughs> Surprised didn't Halloween kill came us. early. O'Neill doesn't even give a fuck. O'Neill's just kind of running through it and not giving... Just, that's it. He's like, what's it gonna do to me? I don't even have a health bar. <laughs> exactly. The slowest door ever. Guys, stand back. I said stand back. Hey, at least I put mine away. Now, I, I just want to watch. Let's just watch O'Neill fight everything. That's, that sounds really entertaining to me. Oh. Except that. Well, well, they're gonna come after me. I mean, I mean, he's just doing all the work for us. I just want to watch him marvel that's this AI. Cause he's he's just standing out in the open there. Oh wait, wait, he did he get down? <laughs> mm -hmm. And the alien wasn't even looking at me and started shooting at me. It's fucking awesome. Nope, oh he was back up, doesn't give a shit. I like how there's like an alien right behind them too. And they don't even care. This gun doesn't shoot bullets? Um beast? Oh, guy's the the oh, wait, you just you just noticed it now? That's what I've been having the entire time. They're both using it. it sounds gross. This is a long range engagement. Making headshots. Alright, good job, O'Neill. My god, look at all the armor everywhere. So tasty. 
there hell somewhere? Use some. Where's the health? I don't know. I'll be up here. This is where I'd put the health. There's zombies. We can confirm no health up here. Negative actual! Looks like the perimeter of the compound went down completely! It's all gone to shit here! What, what are you talking about? We did that! <laughs> <laughs> we even talked about it! We were like, are we sure we want to do this? I don't want to say 10 out of 10 writing or anything, but come the fuck on! <laughs> you, you know what? I don't know. You know what the worst part about this entire game is? They haven't said like all the all no 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 all the all those cult like that like the, the classic lines from these movies that like everybody uses you know like like breeds we are leaving they're coming well they they said they're coming out the walls one well, I think they did cutting out the cut or no 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 that was an achievement never mind they they, they they aren't fucking saying any of the lines that like you'd expect I mean everybody else does it except for the aliens game itself. Why? Shit, that reminds me of, uh, one of my sister's friends actually like looked at Hunter like no 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 no. He looked like any Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. He's like this needs more Predator in it. He just <laughs> edited in like all the fucky like get to the chopper lines. <laughs> so basically what you're saying is you want more. But Sorry, the, physics briefly. The thing is though, you know. You you get a you, you'd get a little bit giddy because it's like oh yeah I love the movie like you you're, you kind of the whole reason you'd play something like this because you like the aliens movies right so you want to get kind of like reminded of what universe you're in and like you know reference it kind of slightly because everybody else as I said every other game you fucking play they they reference aliens somehow they love to do that oh that's a nail and so and the one game that should reference itself doesn't do it it actually reminds me like I don't know. When I was like following like the day one release of this thing, yeah, I was like uh, reading comments, people were complaining about the pulse rifle sound. I was like, "What? The pulse rifle sound is good." Yep. I I'd say all the at least the weapon. actual. Oh. The actual pulse rifle sounds like a pulse rifle, but everything else sounds kind of weird. Yeah. But, like they were specifically complaining about the pulse rifle how that sounded weak as shit. I don't know. But like this is how it's meant to sound. Like they did a good job on the pulse rifle. I think a lot of the weapons sound kind of weak. The pulse rifle is okay, though. I'll say that much. Although I did like, I like the submachine gun just simply because it sounded like the Unreal Tournament minigun. It that's what it reminded me of. Although it's a shitty weapon, though. I can confirm aliens in this direction. There's an alien here. You don't say. Okay, the alien's gone. It's gone. I think the worst part, though, is that the the aliens' AI doesn't exactly. It's not anything spectacular at all. It's in fact pretty bad. Like they, they just kind of run at me slowly. I think. It was better in fucking AVP Classic of all games. I haven't tried that actually. I have it. Let's play it. <laughs> yeah, you guess why I stopped this one? Does that want you to have co-op? No. No. Well, it's Aww. kind of, but it's a multiplayer survival mode. But the, so, so they even had another game, another good Aliens vs. Predator game to kind of base base everything off of them. Like, there's no excuse then. There, there's there's two AVP games that are good that they could have based this off of. Okay. They didn't they didn't use either of them. Oh, it's an AA game. What do you expect? It was like the one thing I kind of loved about this game. I say love is like, ha ha ha, chuckles. They took it away from the Predator focus, right? It's like more about aliens. Oh, and yet half the time we're fighting fucking like Call of Duty. <laughs> I think the entire time we're fighting. I like how our all, all <laughs> everyone's reactions to go the way that is blocked off. I just wanted to know if I could bash that down or something. Don't don't be silly. There's no secrets here. Hey hey, we were all that guy in Dark Souls that saw the boarded up doorways. I'm like, can I break through that? Oh, I suck. I suck yeah, again. Shut up. Actual. Well, so you, you run out them with the grenade. The 
I can accept this. This could theoretically still be here. I don't know, do you, do you think this area is within crater of Nebraska distance? I don't know, how big's Nebraska? <laughs> well, how much turn. corn do you... Uh... Oh, I killed myself. Rip. It's, it's the size of 1.5 Canada's. I don't think Maybe that's an accurate ones? measurement. Uh, probably not. Is this like a clown car door? What the fuck's going on? Okay, no, they were just in here. Right. <laughs> no, they were just all kind of coming out at once. In this one bed. <laughs> what are we gonna do on the bed? Do I got the shit part of the cover? What's the color of the girl again? So do you guys know anything about the multiplayer for this? I heard it uh, was better than the campaign, but that's not a hard accomplishment. To be honest, I'm not really... A anytime any kind of multi-platform uh, multiplayer component comes out for any game, I'm just... I'm totally not into it, because... I don't know, I think I'm spoiled by free-to-play titles, like, like you know, I guess Team Fortress 2, uh, what else, like Path, Path of Exile, of Exile. MechWarrior Online and shit, like where they get constant updates and they're balanced really well and shit like that. But you know, you know when an AA title comes out, it's not getting patched, because it, they would, they can't patch it for their consoles, basically, so they're not going to patch it for the, where the hell are we? I'm glad we all tried to jump secrets. that. No, I'm determined. Stay up there, there's a switch up there. Oh, never mind. Hold on, there's more shit over here. Fuck. Oh, it's locked, never. I, ah, I teleported me! <laughs> You're an asshole. It's not like I wanted to explore or anything, Baka. <laughs> there's shit on my knees. Why, why are you so short? What the fuck? I just noticed your midget. <laughs> we had this discussion in Borderlands once. Greens, <laughs> we are You're leaving. A midget. You're not crouching, are you? No, I just stood up. I'm crouching. Yeah, everyone's a midget here. That's great. Never owned Neil, and Neil's kinda good size. Yeah, I, I, I'm still a good foot over him. Well, for me, I'm about head level with him when he's standing straight. But yeah, anyways, um, you know, I'll, I'll play, uh, back on the last subject, the, I'll play like AA co-op titles kind of thing, but other than that, no, not really. I don't even touch it. I don't know, do you guys ever do, like, AA titles for, for multiplayer? Not really. I played the fuck out of Black Ops 2. Really? No, I didn't. I played it when it was free. That's all you did. <laughs> okay. I, I played it a little bit when I... <laughs> had it and then didn't really like it and then Adam had the free weekend of like yeah sure I'll join you for that. That sorry that guy back there died in the worst and best scream I've ever heard. My god. That isn't your god. I wanna to touch it. Yes! Ah! I can confirm they're being guys. Yeah. Uh, and he's gonna shoot me while he's on fire. Okay. Yeah. He just kind of does that. Boston. The fire was just a minor inconvenience. So yeah, so you you and you and Adam you and Adam play Call Call of Duty a little bit. You know, like as I said, there's nothing nothing against that. It's not my kind of game, but it's just like. I, I'm wondering to myself why they attach multiplayer components. This just seems like it's unnecessary and good job, Ken. <laughs> well, if you look at me. specifically Call of Duty again, most people buy that for the multiplayer. It, well, exactly, but like something like this, they, they or like Bioshock 2 or something like that, they just kind of latch it on and you feel that the single player could have been a more immersive experience. Yeah. Uh, I mean, with like, Bioshock uh, 2 multiplayer was like, just gonna... Like, I played it briefly. Wasn't very well balanced at all. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. And with and with Infinite, I, I liked Infinite better, although everybody disagrees. That had 
uh, that what? had just its focus on the single player, and I, I, I thought it was much better than at least Bioshock Secrets. 2. Sorry, I, I need to correct you there. Uh, everyone agrees with you, which is I don't. How I'm the what? one who hates Infinite. Oh. No, no, there's, there's, there's people who hate the game. They're like the two weapon system, they hate that and shit like that. I, I, I didn't really care, because... I was only this using two weapons that I would actually want to use. No, normally I don't like two weapon systems though, but like in that case I didn't mind, I'm used to it. Like I think in Kalos case it was less the two weapon system that bugged him. And more the everything else. Well, what was the part that bugged you about that? Uh, let's see, the story being predictable, the gameplay feeling bland, the upgrade system being linear. You know, you know, uh, you talk about the story, actually, that's the no thing. No real experimentation with your weapons, because you're limited to two, so no matter what, you had to carry the one you knew would work. You couldn't just fuck around with, I wonder how the SMG will work, and you couldn't do that. I ran around with a sniper and revolver the whole time. <laughs> yeah, because those are weapons you knew would work. Well, they work in every There's game. It was easy to find weapons that would work. It was experimenting and having fun that that game severely lacked. And then the addition of a Call of Duty regenerating health, I mean, armor mechanic, was pretty ridiculous. And then pausing the game to completely change your playstyle on the fly by equipping new hats and a pause screen wasn't a lower level of gameplay from either the other two bios. You need to design your character before encounters and hope it works. I guess I kind of like the environment more, because that's what I normally like in games. I, I, I found that surprising you found that story to be predictable, because I find that to be every other game other than that one. And I know we're, I, by the way, I, I to everyone watching, I absolutely knew, I absolutely know that we're completely off topic right now, even though know, we're playing Aliens, Blue, and Marines, but fuck this, like, this is the most, it's not very interesting combat, I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna lie right now, <laughs> just kind of like, I, I don't know what to say. Well, this is AVP 2, they'd be flanking us and in greater numbers. It's true, actually. In this, they just come at you with like, ah, oh, have four aliens in a straight line. <laughs> well, one thing I'll say about AVP Classic, uh, it kind of bugged me that the aliens not were infinite, but at least it was kind of like, they were actually a threat. We're playing on the hardest difficulty right now. I, I thought I thought they one hit you. I thought one of you said that. And we're and no, that was the explosive guys, and that was still wrong. Because <laughs> you guys were like, you guys were like, uh, like I, I was uh, before we started the LPL. I'm like, I'm like, oh, what difficulty should we do it on? You're, you're all like, oh, I don't. Are you sure you want to do that difficulty, Mike? Are you sure you want to do hardest? Well, we were remarking specifically about the HUD elements because we didn't understand how the health system worked. Okay, now we know it's a three section. I just want to tell you. difficulty doesn't matter, it's either full or empty. Okay, I just want to tell you what O'Neill did. He ran into the middle of that room, two guys came in, he ran ran out and then ran back in. <laughs> and ran into the middle of the room where he basically fucking. He wasn't dead! That was O'Neill! <laughs> and he just walked through your fire! O'Neill, stop! O'Neill doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> My <laughs> past I was frag bombs at O'Neill. Hey, an APC. There he is. Uh, Can I also mention that the bitch. military and the movies are under the paycheck of Wayland Yutani? So why the fuck are we fighting them when we're on the same fucking paycheck? It's it's like Team Fortress Two. Because right is man. Red and blue are the Riding same. Running like hard, dude. Here's how it works. They can basically just like, all right, if you want to get paid, just leave. And be like, yeah, okay. Marines, we are leaving. Which is like, oh, remember that, uh, the, the plot in the, uh, uh fuck. I love you to unfuck my speech. It's too late. <laughs> remember the plot in the Aliens movie where it's like, oh, there's a subplot of, like, you know, corporate corruption. How can we make that a thing in the game? I know. Mercenary. Private. UAC company. Back, O'Neill! Yeah, O'Neil just- The whole plot of the movie was that we were the mercenaries. I just want to mention, O'Neil didn't even let me get the first shot off. He just kind of just opened up and then they're like, Oh, that's where they are! <laughs> I, could I get like at least like a stealth shot off? Actually, you no, because remember, it's actually in O'Neil's character, actually. remember? <laughs> There's an FTL on the ground, that's oh our God, way off planet! Hello? Actual! Where the hell did he go? This had better not be who I think know. it is. What? It is. O'Neill, man, we gotta go now! Cruz, 
He knew about this traitor-ass piece of shit before he authorized the mission. It was never about Bella! O'Neill, get in the goddamn APC! Actual, this is 2-1 en route with Prisoner. You have a lot of explaining to do, sir. Something's wrong. They look pissed as shit at you. Do they have a reason to be? Yep. Who is he?! Son, be careful about what you do next. Did you know about the Manifest?! You were gonna go either way. Did you know that Bella was gonna die, no matter what?! <sighs> yes. And you knew it, too. Son, there wasn't a force in hell that was gonna stop you guys from going in and trying anyway. Put it down. Lower it. We just risked our lives to get this guy out of the way you facility. Let's ignore the lion for a second. Why the hell was this Marine so important to you? What happened on the Sulaco? Don't lie to me. Don't you dare lie to me! Get that bag off that soldier now. Who the fuck is that? Oh, great. Back here. I'm Corporal Hicks from the USS Sulaco. I've been held under duress for months by Waylon Yutani. He wanted information. Bishop? Are you alive? Different Bishop. How the hell are you alive, Hicks? Your file was closed KIA 14 weeks ago. We're here because we responded to your distress call. Wish you had. What information did you give them, Corporal? Stuff they're gonna figure out anyway. Enough to keep me alive without saying much. Captain, who did we bring back? We found out about Hicks when it was already too goddamn late. I didn't think there was a snowball's chance in fuck any of you were coming back alive. I'm sorry about Bella. You have no idea. They had a prisoner in that facility for weeks. Wei Yu has an FTL ship on the planet. Now I got a duty to the other hundred Marines to get them off this rock. Then you better hurry, sir. Last FTL leaves soon, and it ain't coming back. You know the FTL schedules? I know a lot more than that. Sir, we have two squads of Marines inbound, coming in hot. What? There's more than a hundred Xenos heading right for Hadley's Hope. I could tell that by looking at my ear. I hold my holding my ear. Sorry. Wasn't uh? <laughs> so I can't remember which one he was. Was he the one who made it onto the Sulaco with them at the end of the movie? I have no fucking idea what's going on, to be honest. If I don't so, really he's the one confirmed dead in Alien 3 as part of the crash. And this is set after Alien 3. So... You know, I guess it's still less of a plot hole than the fact that we're in an area that should be a traitor. So, I'll move on. It's not the worst game this well, don't has, forget, this game has. Regardless of what you know, this game is the new canon. Guess what time it is. It's time for the ultimate upgrade in my in my battle rifle. That's Did I pimp up my guns yet? No.